Hey everybody, this is Pat from Ring Country Homestead. God is good all the time. And we got invited to uh, a collaboration on uh, essential oils. And you might think, uh, well, what's Mr. Rain doing in a essential oils, or an EO, excuse me, that's the, if you're really into essential oils, you call them EOs. Somebody call them EOs before, and I had no idea what they were. <laughs> but anyway, I don't think anybody else has done a video like this one here uh, on the essential oils. And they only wanted to give only five essential oils. This is a, this is a video uh, string or a collaboration with uh, Stringfield Ridge Farm. And I think it's a good idea. Well, I always like to think of things worst case scenario or you know, in the event thereof, uh, you know, you really have to pick some oil. So here's my situation. Oh my goodness, we got a grid down situation and it's, uh, it's the end of the world, it's the apocalypse, it's uh, <laughs> anything, whatever your, whatever your thing is. <laughs> and so I'm sitting around here with my little antique oiler and I'm rubbing on it, kind of cleaning it up, trying to take care of my stuff because stuff's hard to come by anymore, you know, being just the apocalypse and all. And all of a sudden I'm rubbing this thing and uh, essential oils genie pops out and says, I'm going to grant you five wishes, but these wishes only contain the oil. Which oils do you want if you can only have five? So here we go. So I cut this down into five different groups, cooking and health engines in general, lighting, and general shop use. This is a tough decision, but you have to keep in mind the genie is sitting there waiting for me and I have to give out just five oils. Now I got a shop full of oils, lots of different applications, but if I had to pick five, this is the one I would pick for cooking and health, and that's coconut oil. Why coconut oil, you ask? Well, I'm glad you asked that question. Well, it doesn't go rancid, uh, so it keeps for indefinite period of time. It's actually got antibiotic characteristics. It is a oil that you can put under high heat and it won't go toxic, like a lot of your other oils will go toxic. Another thing is it's uh, good for protecting your wood products, like for your cutting boards and your wooden cutlery handles or rolling pins or things like that. You know, you can use it for, uh, you know, beauty products. You know, you can, if you make your homemade beauty products and you can put some on your hands if they're dried out and cracked, you know, in a pinch, you could use it for protecting your leather leather goods and different things so it's got it's a good general purpose well-rounded oil and obviously you can use it for cooking with cooking and baking so if i had to have a in-house healthy consumable oil that would be the one now we like to buy them in these little these little buckets here because Heidi makes soaps all the time, and we cook with it all the time, and we treat our wood products with them all the time, our wood, our kitchen gadgets and stuff, such. And after you get done, you got this nice sturdy little bucket. Well, that makes a good feed bucket. And we around here, we like to, we like to multi-purpose uh, uh, all the items that we get. And so these are nice sturdy little buckets. They're a lot sturdier than the cheap ice cream buckets you get at the store with the the GMO ice cream in it. Uh, yeah, so this is also uh, healthy for you. You can see the it's non-GMO and got all the all the good stuff to it. Um, Mama Rain is always looking at that kind of stuff, so she takes good care of us. Well, the second thing I'd tell the little genie is, uh, and this is the second most important thing I think, is clean heat. This is a replacement for uh, 
1K kerosene. It has a lot less soot and it doesn't put off an odor. Now, although you can use clean heat for all kinds of different uh, heating applications for kerosene, you can put it in replacement for kerosene. You know, it's good for uh, little hurricane uh, lanterns and also the round uh, wicked little oil lamps that you can you can also get for backup lighting. So if I had my brother, I would burn this. We have lots of kerosene on hand and we also have a lot of clean heat on hand. So that's a good thing to have. Now my third thing on the list I'd ask the Genie for would be simple uh, 1030 weight, SAE 1030 weight oil for general purpose. You know, if I had to pick one oil and that was it to run in small gas engines and regular vehicle engines, I would pick the 1030 in our area. Those statistics will change depending on the coldness and severity of your weather conditions, cold or hot. You know, you're getting a thicker oil for, for a hotter area and a thinner oil for a cooler area. If I had to pick one oil for all of my uh, engines and when it comes to uh, cars, trucks, lawnmowers, rototillers, that's the oil that I would get if I had to just pick one. Now bear in mind you can't get oil anywhere and it's a situation where you got to pick five. This would be item number four and that is saw mix and that's for two-stroke engines and you mix this, mix this uh, with your gasoline if you can find any. <laughs> <laughs> this is just a oil. This is actually a synthetic blend uh, made from Husqvarna. And that, that would be for your mixed gas for things like weed eaters, blowers, chainsaws. Some of your little cultivators will run on a two-stroke uh, engine oil. The other thing is chainsaw oil. Now. I'm getting to the point where it's really hard to make a decision because there's so many different oils out there. But if you're in a situation where you got to have you got to have your chainsaws to do anything from simple carpentry to uh, building a like a simple lean to or whatever like that, and you have a little small chainsaw in hand on the back of a four wheeler or whatever, having saw gas and saw oil for your bar chain is something which I would consider a essential oil. Now you can use, some people have used used motor oil and different things like that, but I have a tendency to like to use the oil in there that actually goes in there, and that's a thicker weight oil. They only said I could do five oils. So I am not gonna mention, I'm not even gonna allude to these oils over here. <laughs> I'm not, I'm, not even, I'm not even gonna hint around to these oils here. I'm not gonna mention 80, 90 weight oil for all your gear oil. You know, I'm not even gonna hint around to make you know, oil for your heavy machinery like anything that's got a, a diesel motor in it. And I'm also not gonna mention AW46 for all your hydraulics. I did say shop, didn't I? I did say shop. Um, <laughs> if you had to pick one oil, for your shop, it'd be WD-40. I know I cheated a little bit. I'm probably going to get flack for it. <laughs> but uh, these are my essential oils. Well, I hope you got a little bit more information out of this. You know, hopefully this will help you guys out too. Anyway, <laughs> I'm really going to get in trouble for this. Hope you all like what you saw. Leave some questions and comments in the comment section below. Take care and God bless.